infringement by Abdul Razak Al Hussein. Here comes Japan. Maeda. Surely he must finish. And Mota Balhu saves the day for Syria. Honda. Endo with the switch. Now the chance for Hasebe towards the near post where Maeda was lurking. Okay. And offered them significant sums of money to reach the quarterfinals for the first time ever. Just seems in the part of the world there are significant sums of money available for all sorts of things. It's not coming our way. <laughs> Having to, they must have gone close to emptying their tank against Saudi Arabia emotionally. Here corner, one by Katib and Ali Dowd with the header. He got the direction but not the power. Who's the lead through Makoto Hasabi goal? Al Khatib trying to get possession. Now they've got Syria and they almost managed to nick it through. But Japan have got to be careful here. Kawashima straight at Dennis Al Khatib. A dab goes inside the box, Malki, and the referee has Hang pointed to the penalty spot. But it's got to be offside, son. The linesman has been flagging for offside. But the referee has awarded penalty, and I think he's going to have to give a red card to the goalkeeper as well here. If that's his decision, he has no other option. A huge talking point. Endo is saying he was offside. It couldn't be a penalty. Okay, must have been offside. There's number 19, Malky to substitute in the challenge. That comes off Al Cup. He must be offside. But no, he's awarded a penalty it. and it's got to be a red card. If he's consistent, now it's decision time, it's discussion time. Is it too late to be in the United Nations? Mohsen Gorky is at the centre of a desert storm here in the Middle East. Well, it's quite unsightly and unexpected. Yeah, the Japanese officials have emptied the pits and joined in the fray. And they're being told to go back from which they came. This is remarkable. Will he abide by his original decision? Well, he's, he's decided. He's made the interpretation that the touch didn't come off the number 10, Firas al Khatib. That's all he could have assumed. And it's red card coming out. Kawashima sent off. And it's a penalty for Syria. High drama right. in Doha. And the lines, well, the linesman's being all as close to a song as you can imagine. I can't see this being the linesman's fault. Was he flagged for offside? The referee waved the assistant away. The referee has overruled and said, I'm awarding a penalty, and he can only have done that because he's assumed that the touch did come off number 10. Firas al Khatib. From that point on, there's no... There's that's no not question. in question. There's, there's a foul. That's not in question. The question is where the touch came from. And Al Khatib... According to my recollection, as the player who passed that ball through in the challenge, it should have been offside. This is a massive, massive controversy. And Osun Torki, well, does it come off the defender? That's what he's decided. He's decided to come off Connor. But I reckon a close inspection will show that Firas al Khatib. And Kawashima is still refusing to go. Well, referee Mose started his international career refereeing Japan against Singapore. I'm not quite sure what sort of international career he's going to have after this. Oh my goodness, what a picture. Brilliant, brilliant drama here. Well, can Firas al Khatib put the final line to this extraordinary story by scoring the penalty? Goodness me, what about if he saves it? Firas al Khatib for Syria. And he scores! 1 1. Wild scenes at the Qatar Sports Club. A major talking point. No mistake, the penalty kick. What a football that we're seeing unfold here. What a contest we're seeing unfold here at the Qatar Sports Club. Here come 10 men of Japan. Oh! Well, Okazaki trying to steal into the far post. And Syria with some desperate defending. Honda, little one-two. Kosuke Honda! Oh. 
And the save by Mossad Alhus. Jamal Kati. Endo. Major pattern not done yet. Okazaki rolling off the defender. And down he goes. It's another penalty. Incredible. Belal Abdul Daim stuck a leg out and over to Shinji Okazaki. And we've got another penalty kick, this time for Japan. This is unbelievable. Well, to try and level up the playing numbers, Okazaki wriggling, turning strength. It's a six of one and half a dozen of the other. The youngsters from Takyawa Daini High School would cheer him on. The whole of Japan is now. Can he tuck this one away and ease Japanese nerves with 10 minutes to go? Honda scores straight through the middle. The Blue Samurai lead again 2 1. Uh, there's plenty being set between Japanese players and Syrian players. That is. A really dicey penalty from Honda. As the remonstrations went on ahead of Syria penalty, probably the best part of five minutes. Here's Ferris Ismail, Jabs, Philosoph for Tevans. Again, the save made by Nishikawa. Good chance that for Syria. Really good chance. Beautiful ball. Final six minutes for Alberto Zaccaroni. Looking for his first competitive win in charge of the Blue Samurai. Firas al Khatib from long range. And Japan will use the break in play. Lovely flick by Honda Okazaki. Just about manages to keep his balance. Down he goes on the edge of the box. And he's bought valuable time for Japan. There's going to be another yellow card. Coming near the corner flag, they got the opportunity. Well, the Syrians, yeah, they've got to be careful. A bit too eager. The, the, ball, the ball has to roll its circumference. Second yellow for Sabag. Two yeah. yellow cards in the space of minutes. That, that's just stupid. That's unfortunate. Everybody by the goalkeeper forwards. In it goes. Yoshida, head to clear. And a full-time whistle blows. And Japan have won a quite remarkable game of football. Two goals to one, the final score line. But that's only half story. Two penalties awarded. Two red cards issued. Alberto Zaccaroni has his first competitive win as Japanese coach. The arguments go on with the referee who's at the centre of all drama. Another yellow card has been issued after the full time whistle. This top to Ali Dia. The security guards have surrounded the officials. And this could go on for some time. Tita Valerio getting involved too. It's all ending in very unsavoury sits here at the Qatar Sports Club. And it's